HubSpot Service Hub tutorial, how to use HubSpot Service Hub. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the HubSpot Service Hub. So HubSpot is a platform that provides you different CRM features such as marketing, sales, service, operations, and CMS. And you can take a look at their key and popular features over here. So they have anything from ticketing to payments to data quality automation, drag and drop editors, and website SEO recommendation. Now, in their service hub specifically, they have the popular features of tickets, customer feedback, and knowledge bases. So to get started with their service hub, all you have to do is go on to hubspot.com. And once you go on to hubspot.com, we're just going to scroll down and click on get started over here on the service hub. So once you click on get started, you can take a look at their premium and free tool. So we're going to just click on get started for free, or you can even get a demo of their premium version. But we're just going to click on get started for free to get started with hubspot now once you do that you're just going to enter your first name last name and email address or you can also sign up with google so i'm just going to click on sign up with google over here and then i'm just going to select my email address like this and now i'm just going to click on continue with this user and i'm going to create a fresh account and now they're going to ask you what industry you are in so Let's say we are in the fashion industry, so apparel and fashion, and then we're going to click on next. Then let's say your job is maybe the CEO or founder or owner, and then you're going to add your company name. I'm going to add Jane Doe Clothing, and then I'm just going to click on next. And now you're going to enter how many people are working for you. So let's say it's two to five, and then you're going to link your company website. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my Wix websites and link this. You're you're obviously going to enter your own website so whatever is your website you're just going to copy and paste the website link just like that copy and paste it over here okay so sub pages don't work so for that i'm just going to copy and now after that you are going to be asked where you want your data to be hosted so if you're in the united states you would probably recommend united states and then if you're in the eu then you can select the eu i'm just going to continue with the united states over here and now my account is being prepared so we're just going to wait a couple of seconds now after that you're going to be asked if you have used crm spot and like crm before or hubspot before so i'm just going to add i'm new tabs i've used crm before and now they are going to ask you to add some contacts in three easy steps and you're going to add contacts if you want but i'm just going to leave for it later so you can see this is my dashboard and on my dashboard on the top i have my contacts this is like my navigation panel i have contacts conversation marketing sales service automation reports and then on the right side i have my account and in my account i have all of my account settings then i have my notifications and I'm just going to click on over here and then I have my basic settings for my space and then I have my marketplace so you can integrate different applications onto HubSpot as well. So this is what your basic HubSpot dashboard is going to look like. So this is like the home page, this is the user guide. Now, after that, if you want to begin setting up your service features, you're just gonna click on service over here. And now you can see the basic features that are available. So we can just click on tickets over here. Now, after clicking on tickets, you can take a look at the different sections that have been created. And we're just gonna close that. And you can also click on add views over here to create new ticket views and click on all views to browse the views that have been created these are the standard tickets like all tickets my open tickets and unassigned tickets now you can also click on import over here and you can import any kind of ticketing system that you might already be using so you can click on connect an app or start an import and you can import any csv file or a opt-out list so that is one way to also add your tickets into the hubspot crm but if you don't have that already then there is a simple way to add tickets you can just click on create ticket over here and then you can name the ticket so we're just going to name this sample and then you're going to choose the pipeline so this is just the support pipeline you're going to add the status on this so new the ticket description let's say quality control issue and then we're going to add the source so this is going to be from the phone and then you're
you're going to add the ticket owner you can assign this to any person that is present within the hubspot team and then you're just going to add the priority which is going to be low then you can add the due date of any ticket and you can add the contact of that ticket so if you want to associate any kind of information like let's say you have a complaint about foreign clothing that was received by one of your customers and they have emailed you so you can add their email over here so you are better able to respond to them timely like this so you can enter that so they will be responded to as soon as possible and if you are dealing with other business contacts then you can add their company names as well and then you're just going to click on create over here and now you can see our ticket is being created now you can see this is the ticket this is all the detail you can open up a ticket like this so this is the ticket hub and you can just click on the ticket to get more details you can add more information so you can click on create note and create notes for the tickets we can manage all of the email communication over here you can manage your calls over here the tasks for a ticket so let's say that if you have a business ticket like if you're using the ticketing system for business communication you can also add tasks like you know contacting suppliers meeting business owners or other ticketing functions can be completed with these task sections within a ticket now after that you also have meetings so you can also monitor those right in one section and once you have created a ticket you can add so much more detail into it and once you have progress this ticket so let's say if you have completed this you're just going to select it from here and then you can assign it edit it or change obviously the status so we're just going to click on edit and then you can add a close ticket or you can add create date whatever you might want so you can also add the ticket information so anything else you want might want to change let's say we are closing this ticket on the 12th and click on update so this would automatically be closed on the 12th of may because you know i added that date and that would automatically be closed and this little bar over here allows you to get like an overview of the ticket information just all of the basic information now after that you have your hubspot pricing now hubspot is a amazing crm service provider and you can see they have automations they have service tools they have sales tools marketing tools conversations contacts you can add different contacts individual contacts companies you can manage a lot of things on hubspot and use this as a overall crm tool but all of this does come at a price because if you take a look at the a service section only the ticketing system is free for feedback surveys knowledge bases and customer portals you will have to upgrade to the professional version and if we take a look at their pricing over here and go into the customer service section now you can see the starter version starts at 45 dollars per month and the professional version is 450 a month and then you also have the enterprise version starting at 1200 a month but you get amazing features like streamlining your customer communication with slack integration canned snippets email templates you have live chat meeting scheduling you also have mobile inboxes team emails and calling and you also have email and in chat app support now other than that on the professional version you also have customer feedback surveys forecasting channel switching and customer portals and obviously the enterprise version has a lot more you can also include 10 paid users in the 120 per month as a per additional user so in general i recommend that you do check out hubspot and i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to use the service section of hubspot make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video.